Have you seen Lincoln? There's a historical mistake in Steven Spielberg's film, and 2nd District Congressman Joe Courtney wants it corrected. Brian Burnell has our story. Why tarnish your invaluable luster with a battle in the house? It's a rat's nest in there. Steven Spielberg's Lincoln has generated lots of Oscar buzz, but Connecticut Congressman Joe Courtney says there's a problem with the acclaimed film. The climax of the movie is the roll call vote in the House. Um, and when the roll call starts, the state of Connecticut as a delegation is called out, called on first, and two out of the three Connecticut delegates voted no. Uh, in the movie. In fact, all members of the Connecticut delegation voted in favor of the 13th Amendment abolishing slavery. For Courtney, it's not enough to simply point out the error. He wants it fixed before the movie is released on DVD. It's really painted Connecticut in a very negative light. And, and that's why um, you know, I feel it's important uh, for Mr. Spielberg to get the fact check, to get the correction, and um, to see if there's a way, even on the DVD release, that they can do some kind of uh, notation, some type of uh, correction. Matt Warshower is professor of history here at Central Connecticut State University and the author of the book, Connecticut in the American Civil War, Slavery, Sacrifice, and Survival. He says Courtney has it right. Connecticut's delegation was, in fact, unanimous in its vote for the 13th Amendment. But the state, when it comes to slavery, not so much. Connecticut it was very, very divided over this war. They were very divided over the issue of slavery. There's plenty of people in Connecticut who were in favor of slavery. In an age when a lot of people see movies like Lincoln and assume they're accurate, how important is it for the film to be absolutely, factually correct? That's a tough one. That's a tough one because I, they're not representing it as a documentary. They're representing it as a dramatic movie. And so does everything have to be absolutely historically accurate? Uh, no, it doesn't. In New Britain, I'm Brian Burnell reporting for NBC Connecticut News. Lincoln is expected to be released on DVD in March.